hey guys welcome back so in today's um, module we are going to look at how you can generate or publish documentation from postman right so if you are working on any api you will probably need uh, some kind of documentation right uh, because when you are sharing your api with anyone they need to know um, some details like uh, what's the url of that request what type of request it is uh, what are the parameters we need to pass so there are so many details you need to give right whenever you are sharing your api across your team or with anyone else right so every api um, has some kind of documentation we have seen uh, the github api it has got its own documentation from where we were referring to all those details similarly weather api has its own documentation so almost every company uh, who are developing the apis or any developer who is working on any api needs to have some documentation now you can create it on your own or in postman it's pretty simple to create that documentation and publish it right so let's see how we can do that now let's take the example of the github collection so click on this um, play button here and here you will find some options right so let's first see how we can view this github collection as a documentation in postman right so there is an option to view in web right so this is the option where it will automatically generate a documentation for your collection right and you can also share this uh, with others this documentation which is generated by postman okay so as i was saying this is the documentation for github right um, you can share it across with your teams um, right any any workspace you can share it then uh, here you will see all the requests which are listed on the left hand side right uh, you will have all the environments so you can select an environment um, you can select single column or double column right so on the right hand side you will see this is the uh, code generated for your api requests right so it can be generated in any language so postman pro supports almost all the languages so you can generate it in uh, curl you can generate it in c -sharp, java so any language you choose uh, that your api request documentation in that particular language will be present right so using this you can embed it embed this code into your application also right when you are sending or sending any particular request from your from your application so that's also present there then uh, you will have um, if you are using any tokens or any environment variables right mm -hmm. so those will be present here obviously in um, in real time scenarios you, you won't be uh, kind of sharing these tokens but right now i have shared it across that's why it is displaying here right so every request will have its own documentation right so what's the uri uh, what's the endpoint url what kind of authorization what's the body right similarly for get post delete so whatever requests you have created it will be present here along with the uh, documentation right so you can also add description here um, for people who are looking at your apis to understand what this particular api request is doing right so this is how uh, documentation in um, postman looks like for your collections and there is also an option to publish this documentation right so if you go back to so uh, from here also you can publish it right or you can go back to your postman and again view more actions here we'll find something called publish docs okay so really it is going to um, open the same link you can go it from here also right so this is the public collection page and here it's showing the current version so you can do versioning of your collection also if there are different versions you can select those those versions from here right you can select an environment for your uh, collection that so that will be included the environment variables should be included in your documentation um if you have any custom domain you can provide that url here right so styling 
how do you want to um, present your documentation, right? So you can choose from here. You can choose the background color for um, code background color, highlight color. So uh, there are different options here to choose, right? Now, collection delivery discovery. So if you want other users to access your collection, right? Um, in the Postman API network, you can add it to the API network or you can add to Postman templates. So it will be available to others users as a template or they can download it from the API network, right? So if you add it to the API network, um, it will publish it on the network and you can have a um, give a profile here, uh, then you can give the listing name, summary, description, you can provide the categories and then publish the collection, right? So it will be available over the Postman API network and anybody can use it. So that's how you uh, publish your documentation, right? And as I said, um, you can also view your own documentation in using this view in web and also share it um, with other workspaces, right? So this is how you can uh, easily create documentation uh, for your APIs in Postman. You can also share it across uh, with your team members and you can also publish your documentation on the API network or save it as a template for others to use, right? So it's pretty simple, uh, but very effective uh, at the same time. So if uh, you found this video interesting, please uh, like and share this video along. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If uh, you want to um, look at more videos like this, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, QA Script. You can find the link below or after this video ends. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Um, see you in, in another video where we'll discuss more Postman features.